You send me stuff. Some sort of head tracker? It detects my head position and stuff. And I hack it. Oh. And Giga Chad <laughs> Program. Sponsored by Yuffie. Are they going to hit it? Oh. <laughs> and turn it into. Mom, I want an Apple Vision. We got Apple Vision at home. <laughs> I'm the CEO of Apple now. I run the store. A setup like never before. So I've been coding for like seven days or whatever. It's not super practical. Uh. Sponsored by Yuffie. Get an edge hugging clean with the Mop Master 2.0. This episode began in exactly the way you might expect. Anyway, so someone sent me this mini anti-dog barking collar. And I think they thought that I'm gonna test it out. Like it shocks you if you bark. I'm not testing it out. Uh, unless at the end of the video you subscribe. Gary Bros. Oh! That's nothing, bro! It's not working, man. <laughs> Nothing, bro. Also got the little Sasquatchy. I think some people were sad that Sasquatch isn't in my attic anymore. Uh, it's a grow a Sasquatch. We'll see if he actually grows. Ryan Trahan sent me snacks. Uh, they were very good. I already broke into them a little bit. <laughs> well, he sent them to me. I just purchased them from the website. And so I'm sure it was him packaging and sending them. Okay, I'm gonna open this one. This is from Hunter. PC can't be stolen, loud boy. Thank you for the handwritten letter. Enjoy, you the best. Thanks for the awesome content. Top tier, Hunter. That is top tier. Police burglar alarm number 112. But then a literal siren sounded. I'm kind of scared. This feels like it should be outlawed or something. As though something were about to happen. Dude, this is about to be balls loud, isn't it? Oh! Wow, it really sounds like a police siren. Sick. Thanks, Hunter. Someone actually sent this little keyboard. We're gonna actually put Glarus's MX Purples, bro. Oh. Oh, that sounds so much better. Some sort of little computer. Dude, this little tiny knife what? is sick. All right, now I'm gonna keep it 100 with you boys. I have heard that these could potentially come pre-installed with viruses. Peely Peely? This is from Larry. Track IR, looks like it's for like jet fighter games and some goggles. Thanks Larry. Holo swim, so is this like, it's got like a heads up display or something while you're swimming? I'm not putting these on, I'm not gonna look dumb. <laughs> oh my goodness, why are they suctioned on so hard? I think they're too tight, <laughs> too tight. Those will just hang right there while they charge. I think my eyes got laser beamed from those goggles. Oh yeah, and someone sent instant underpants. I don't even know, like what are these supposed to do? Just add water and then you have underpants? Won't they be soggy? Is this a joke? Is this a troll? This is from, um, just says Gronk. Isn't that that fellow that's dating the Swift lady? Okay. And real air. Oh. So I'm pretty sure that's just like a screen. We'll do that. Got a feeling that's not a child chucker. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's what I'm talking about, bro. This is what I'm talking about. Turn any infant into an adorable projectile. From Jonathan? That looks like a nice one, bro. HD digital video camera. Okay, I know I told you guys to send cameras. This guy delivered. This is sick. I did expect, you know, more like a $15,000 red cinema camera, like the red V Rafter or the Stormtrooper version of the X10, the 10. Oh, so it's got like power and then, so we just connect that to 12 volts. Then you mount this to something and then it outputs a signal. That's pretty sick. Before we build all this up into a PC setup. Yuffie sent me this, the X10 Pro Omni. I'll be putting this in place of my other Yuffie that I've had for like 10 years. I haven't 10 years. They sent me this thing. It like changed my wife's life. Hands down, this is the best auto mopper vacuum combo you can buy. The moppers have always sucked. This one doesn't suck. I've been testing it for like a week now. I'll put it over here, right next to my other Yuffie. And we're gonna see how good it does at avoiding all of my stuff. I took a dump in the corner earlier. <laughs> we're gonna see if they can avoid it. So it's dusty, cause I've been using it, bro. <laughs> I just put it back in the box for the video. It's like 8,000 PA, super powerful suction. 
It's got like AI built into it, bro, that like, like object detection. They promise it doesn't share your data. And I'm telling you, bro, it's gross in here. I've had this one right here for like forever. No lie, it broke and their customer service replaced it for me. So that's a self-cleaning station, cleans its own mop, dries its own mop, empties out the dust, refills itself with clean mopping water from that one. And this guy's never mopping again. And I feel great about that. <laughs> this thing's added quite a bit of convenience to Olivia's life. And it's actually won a ton of awards, which is reassuring. It's been sucking up dirt, so it's dirty, but there's no tangles, bro. It's insane, here we go. I'm gonna hit start. We're gonna see what the AI object detection comes up with it. Like, I identifies stuff and tells you what it thinks it is. Now that I got all the stuff open, I'm about to cook up something cool. You already saw the title and thumbnail, so you already know what probably it is. Probably already in the title and thumbnail, so you guys probably already know what it is. But I didn't know what I was about to do. I had to DoorDash something while I thought about it. I'm gonna DoorDash something while I think about this. And then, my brain enabled Max Riz. So it's doing good. And I knew what I had to do. Everybody thinks they need to work their arms out, bro. No, 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 no. Work your shoulders out, bro. I want the Apple Vision Pro setup, but Windows 11, which essentially means I need to overlay the Windows 11 user interface over a live feed of my surroundings the way the Apple Pro does. So it recognizes like 100 plus obstacles, like that wire. It detects that wire, bro. This is gonna be incredibly hard because that's like auto cropping all the UI and buttons and everything to make it transparent so I can have it floating in front of me. My DoorDash came in, keto cookie. And then it hit me like Trevor did in the fourth grade. Let's see if it dodges these wires, bro. Is it gonna do it? Is it gonna hit it? Oh! <laughs> Dude, any other one, bro, I promise you would've sucked those wires up and it'd've been terrible. You gotta come fix it. All the Apple Vision is, is a computer or brain of the operating system. That's not very good. Cameras to like live feed the surroundings <laughs> and then Beam that straight into your eyes. And look at this like lens flare it has, dude. I'm gonna try to dongle in for a live feed. And head positional gyro data. Let's like clip this on. Oh, sick. Yo, that's crazy. You can see everything, dude. Oh, that's sick, dude. And I had that all. Yeah, we're gonna dongle into it. Oh, it's mopping, bro. Detected the floor and started mopping. Dude, auto detangling. That's sick, dude. It's detangling. No tangles. But Back to the OS itself, how do I get <laughs> Windows 11 on the feed? Oh man, that is so bad. Well, I was thinking about it all backwards. I don't put Windows 11 on the feed, I put the feed behind yeah. Windows. We got live feed straight from the camera. I'm gonna start coding. I can take a snapshot of the live camera feed 60 times a second and then make each image the wallpaper within Windows. <laughs> And it was insane. It actually was nuts. This worked way better than I thought it oh, would. Why do I keep eating the gross cookies? And then from that live feed, I get my hands and fingers wireframe so that when my fingers touch. Something is clicking. Wait. Oh. I can click no. just like the Apple no. Vision does. but it needs to click where I'm looking. So I could be lame and just use like head position to move the mouse. I can track just my head location, but that's not what the Apple Vision does. So instead I got an actual eye tracker. Been a day I'm wearing the same clothes because I don't shower. Made the mouse pointer go to where I'm looking. That's crazy. <laughs> and I don't know if you can tell, but I started to get pretty excited. <laughs> I'm the CEO now. I run the store. You want a refund? Too bad. You want a refund for what? And my floors are clean, bro. It's the cleanest they've ever been. It like found the schmear, bro. And it's like double teabagging it. Look at that. So with a few more small additions to the code that took no time at all and a little bit more. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm building. And a little bit more brainstorming. It was time to build Apple Vision Pro at home from a box of scraps. Not gonna lie, I freaked out there. I freaked out for a little bit. Scoop the crumbs onto the ground because we got the Eufy Omni X10 Pro first. I mount my monitor to the front of my face just like the Apple Vision Pro. For the sake of the video, I'm using a monitor instead of the Unreal Airs. This is just so I can actually show you what's happening and it won't look like I'm trying to fake it because some people are gonna say it's fake. The Super 8 camera will be mounted to this head strap with gaffer tape along with the mini PC on the opposite side. This was pretty flimsy, so I mounted it to this helmet that I used in the horse PC video. Oh, let's go. For the horse PC. Yeah. And honestly, 
it looked pretty good so far. <laughs> All of the necessary wires and dongles I strapped to the back. Four dongles, quad dong. Eye sensor. And I wasn't sure if all of this stuff being strapped to my head was dangerous. But luckily my brain is immune to Bluetooth because I'm about to hit 2 million subscribers so they came and turned me into a lizard. And finally. Just like the real Apple Vision Pro, it's pretty heavy. My child was ready. Probably gonna be like a science to getting this in my head. I could finally, for the low price of $1,200. <laughs> Focus on. Use Apple Vision Pro. That is Apple Vision Pro at home. I feel like I'm in the future. I'm in the future right now. All right, I gotta strap it on because it really, oh my goodness, that's heavy on the head. I probably forgot something extremely crucial. But... Monitor. I'm in the future, man. I just powered on. <laughs> it's kind of choking me. Now, it's gonna add a significantly larger amount of weight so that I can track my eyes. All right. So here it is. This is my setup to my Apple Vision Pro. Much like the original Apple Vision, it's not super practical. And then if I reach my hands out, <laughs> I can just use it as the, uh, as the click. Elvis, get down. Elvis, out, ah! Oh my goodness, the dog is ripping it out. It's got the same field of view as the real one. Which wherever I look, I want to open Chrome. I just look at Chrome and then click. Just like that. See, it's nice and simple. And then like, if I want to make it smaller, the window, or like, I oh, could just drag it out of the way. And just drag it over there with my eyes. Just like that. And then like, if I want to right click, I can just use this hand and do things like sort <laughs> or refresh. Refresh, see? But I know what you're thinking. You're like, what about the mobility? Like, isn't it all about how you can go wherever you want? Well, yeah, I wouldn't simply forget the mobility aspect of it. That's why I just pick up my battery. I just pick up my battery just like anyone else and then I can go to the mall or I can go really wherever I want now. See, it's simple, simple and easy. I'd like to once again thank Yuffie for making content like this possible. Check out the links in the description just by checking them out. You're helping the channel. Thank you. I've got Apple Vision Pro at home. Thanks for watching. Please send me cool stuff. Left click is this hand. Right click is this hand. Or Nikon, if you send me a red cinema camera, I promise I'll strap it to my head. It's my new setup. It's my new setup for a while. I'll just edit this video on this setup.